In two weeks, we will have lived here for a year. And this is how much of our house is finally getting done. <laughs> I'm just thankful to see it happening. Good evening, y'all. Just wanted to come back and give you a quick update on the the uh, iodine situation. But before I do, I need to do something I've been really remiss in. Um, I launched a Patreon account back in January, and I mentioned it, I think, once in one of my videos, and since then I've just had it listed in the description. But, you know, a number of people have come and gone, and I've never really said anything about it since then. And I really am sorry for those who came and stayed and helped out and didn't really see anything from it. I didn't really understand how this Patreon thing works and I still really don't get it. I will say that the way I see it is it's a way you support somebody who's doing something that you want to see continued. So I didn't know there was more, <laughs> more I had to do with it but apparently people like membership bonuses and extra videos and I, I don't even like the interface on Patreon. It's so difficult for me to deal with, but I will tell you that I have to thank, I have uh, two Patreon supporters, Prince Mancho and Joseph. I wanna thank you both for being supporters. I can't tell you what a big deal it is. Prince Mancho is a sirloin supporter. Uh, Joseph is a ground beef supporter, but he's been there since January, so I'm really appreciating I'm really thankful for the, the effort that he's put in to help contribute to the channel. You know, it's uh, it's just one small way to help recoup some of the costs that I do here and to help keep it coming, to keep these videos coming so that I can afford to do this and continue to bring you encouragement and knowledge about this diet and share with you my experiences so that you can benefit from them for yourself on your diet and your pursuit for health in your life. Now for a quick report on the iodine experiment. So far I've been taking drops of iodine uh, for about a month and a half. I can't remember exactly, maybe it was two months now. But uh, anyway, the point is I've been taking about one milligram of iodine every day. Now the recommended daily allowance is 150 micrograms. So one milligram is about six times as much as the recommended daily allowance. But I just finished Dr. Brownstein's book on iodine, which I'll show you a picture of here. Uh, I think it's like iodine, why you need it and why you can't live without it or something like that. But it's, it's an important book I think everybody should take a look at because it talks about a mineral a lot of us don't think about very much and that's iodine. And it, uh, a lot like this diet that I've been on, it upends a lot of what we thought we knew about nutrition. And um, taking one milligram, I've also felt like I've had a little bit more energy here lately. But mostly I've noticed the biggest change was when I upped the, the dosage and stopped taking the drops. Hey Joseph! I, uh, I switched to an iodine tablet that has 12.7 uh, milligrams of potassium iodide and three milligrams of uh, naturally occurring iodine. So you got iodide and iodine. And I've only been taking one of those tablets a day, but in just the three days that I've been taking them, I've noticed a huge difference in my productivity. Like uh, brain fog just goes away quickly and I feel ready to jump onto the next task. I got up this morning and I was doing that freezer. I had everything, I had to scrape the rust off the freezer and put rust-oleum on it and repainted it all before 9 a.m. <laughs> That's just not my normal behavior. And uh, it is something that I've always aspired to, but up until lately, even that has been a bridge too far to have that much energy. So not only energy, but energy and focus. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm, I'm noticing improvements with the iodine supplementation. Um, I'm being real careful to watch for any signs of overdosage 
mostly all I see are signs of iodine deficiency still. Some of the main ones like cold intolerance, cold hands and feet, dry skin, um, uh, brain fog and fatigue was coming back a little bit. But I mean, ever since I've been doing iodine, I haven't had any issues with that. And like I say, the last three days, I have just felt like whew, cleaner, uh, like something cleaned out my brain and I could think a lot clearer lately. So, so far I'm seeing the improvements of, of reducing the symptoms and I'm keeping an eye out for symptoms like headache, fever, uh, some other uh, symptoms of iodine overdose would be things like sneezing, headache, acne, uh, increased salivation, a metallic taste in your mouth. Any of those could be a sign of what they called iodism and that's just where you've got too much iodine and you got to reduce the amount a little bit. Other things to watch out for are uh, detox issues where maybe something that you've had in your system like bromine is interacting with the iodine or causing a problem. And then of course there's allergy issues which I haven't noticed any allergy issues there. So, so far so good. I've considered uh, trying three tablets at a time since the dosage does call for that on the bottle. And that would be sim sim that would be similar to taking iodorol, which is uh, the higher 50 milligram dosage that Dr. Brownstein talks about prescribing in his book for people with low uh, iodine or iodine deficiency. So because I haven't been legitimately tested, I've been taking it easy on how I've ramped up my iodine level of intake and I'm monitoring closely any symptoms so that I don't wind up overdoing it because I know that iodine toxicity is a thing. I just don't understand why we have such a wide variation in what the recommended amount is and how much is healthy because what I'm taking right now is about 100 times the recommended daily allowance and I'm not even at the highest level that uh, Dr. Brownstein recommends for people who are suffering from iodine deficiency. But that's my quick report on that. Just wanted to be able to give you guys some more information that you can chew on and hopefully you guys are experiencing the benefits of a wonderful new uh, healthy eating lifestyle and a healthy way of exercising. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Say screw it. I'm going to get up and do it and get up and make it happen. Take control of your health and take control of your life. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?